Hello everybody and welcome to our Mammoth Nine Beer live stream. Nothing I don't think like this has ever been attempted before on a YouTube beer reviewing channel where we try to kind of get through nine beers. Nearly ten. One more would be ten. So today's episode is kindly sponsored by our channel sponsor, beersofuda.co.uk. Go and check them out. And also, the beard has been supplied by the Norfolk Brew House. I have had some of their beers before, but not for a long, long time. I set out today in the conservatory. Um, it was meant to be raining all day here, or all evening here in Barry. The sun's come out. Give it 10, 15 minutes. It'll be much better. So... Little thing in a corner, and let me show you the first beer. So I'm going to go with a lager. We've got four lagers: a five percent premium lager called Stubble Stag. We have a Galton's Number One Norfolk Lager, four point five. A Jackalope Ginger Lager at four point two. And this Dew Hopper, Norfolk Lager, at 4%. Then we've got a, a variety of ales to get through. So, without further ado, let's grab my... My bottle opener. I've got nine glasses. Nine glasses, nine beers, one bottle opener, one me. Oh, I tell you what, I will loop very, very quickly. I can just, I haven't got any comments up. Uh, I just move that over there. And then if I move that over there. Oh, wait a second, guys. Just setting up. I don't have any engineers. Um, I don't have any people to help me with the live stream. Oh, wait a second, guys. It's just me. Right. We have people watching. Okay, I've got I've got all your comments on the side. We got Orkel, we got Robert Patterson, Aaron McIntyre, Greg Jackson, uh, Aaron Mash. Uh, when you're planning on reviewing the Arbor Ales, I'm looking forward to watching them when you do them. Aaron Mash, thank you very much, Aaron. Um, done the first two. First two, I did the New England IPA, and I did. The IPA, both terrific beers. I've got the double IPA to come soon. Right, bottle cap, first beer. Three minutes past seven. Dew Hopper Norfolk Lager. Let's pick a glass. Beer in a glass. Nice looking lager, two finger white head, good levels of carbonation, quite a clear beer. There we go, there we go. First beer opened into a glass. Hello, Marco. Ah, I've got my technician, Marco, watching. Thank you very much, Marco. Lovely smelling lager, to be honest, really nice. Lemony, juicy, how do they describe it? Moon gazer, dew hopper, uh, brewed with chalk, filtered water from the brewery's own well. This lager pours a light gold colour with a crisp hobby finish. Brewed with malt from the finest Maritata Bally and three hops. It's got like a, a certain kind of lemongrass aroma to it. Juicy, lovely. I'm really thirsty. I had a big curry for my tea. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's better. 
I wasn't cutting the top of my head. I was cutting the top of my head off. Right. <coughs> Lemony, juicy, lemon grassy, crisp, refreshing. Good levels of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's a good lager. It's a good lager. I'm going to have to be really quick with this beer. Um, otherwise, we'll be here all night. Uh, good evening, Simon, and cheers. Uh, what's the occasion? Well, I'm just doing something with my channel sponsor. My channel sponsor, I mentioned again, beersreviewed.co.uk. They've been my channel sponsor now for over, well over five years, maybe even six years, supporting us on the channel. Uh, we come up with an idea, maybe to do this kind of um, live nine beer marathon live stream. Um, it might even be a Guinness World Record. Who knows? I, I don't know anybody else has drunk nine beers in a YouTube live stream. Uh, I hope you're not grafting in the morning. No, um, purposely took a day off, or, or the morning off at least. So, yeah, lemongrass, citrusy, grapefruity. Crisp and dry, really crisp and dry. Good evening, Simon, and cheers. Good evening, everybody. Uh, what are the, we're Stone the Crows, Down It, Down It. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of that tonight. Uh, Greg Jackson, really interested to find out if the next beer has carbonation that pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth as well. Most of them do. <laughs> most beers are carbonated, so most of them do. Um, after Brexit, are you going to have to find a new channel sponsor? <laughs> uh, I, <get, laughs> I, I kind of get that one. Um, Beers of Europe are a fabulous, fabulous sponsor. They really are. And after, of course, it's not just the sponsorship anymore because I've been dealing with them for six, five, six years. It, it's a, I email my my lovely lady down there, and we, we speak and we talk about, I got children, she got children, we talk about the children and kind of like, pardon me, the bourbon started. Just just kind of like got to know each other over emails. Kate James, hello. Uh, love from Newcastle, Simon. Uh, you got me into craft beer and subsequently made me broke. No worries. Right, just to, just to finish up then on this beer, Moongazer Dew Hopper, Norfolk Lager, 4% ABV, you could absolutely, you could smash this back, you really could. Um, it's a proper sessionable lager, it's not quite 25 degrees today, it's really warm, it's humid, it's perfect for a lager, lager drinking weather. I'm going for the lagers first. The reason why I'm going for the lagers first is because I chilled them down and I don't want them to, to warm up too much. So that was a 4% lager. Next beer. Let's have a look. What do we have? We got a 5% lager, 4.5% lager, 4.2% lager. I hope that went unnoticed. Um, this is Galton's number one Norfolk Lager. Coming in at 4.5% ABV. Who's this then? There's a bloke on the side here. Chef Galton. Um, best Norfolk Malton traditional French hop lager. Created by Galton Blackiston of number one Cromer and Morston Hall. Okay. There we go. Second beer of the night. It's going to be bottle caps and beers strewn all over this <laughs> conservatory by the end of the night. Uh, co comment, what do you think of the new setup? Uh, this is this is what I do most of my live streams now. 
Um, I'm not in the kitchen. It just means my wife can go back and forth the kitchen as she pleases. The kitchen's just behind you guys. Um, I've been building this conservatory for the last, myself, the last five years. Um, I think it's pretty decent. It's pretty, pretty relaxed, you know? I can chill out and have a beer with you guys. I'm out on my own. The only problem is there's no toilet out here. Um, any more live streams with the Blue Van Man planned for a meetup? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be doing a lot of live streams with the Blue Van Man over the coming months and months and months. Mr. Hobson, Rob Dabsh, how are you doing, my friend? Um, I wish I had Rob here. I wish I had Rob Dabsh just sitting right here, supporting me, literally supporting me in my in my valiant efforts um, tonight. Um, Rob Dabsh, one of my good friends. Um, hop scene, please check out his YouTube channel. He's a top bloke. We meet up once a year. He lives at the top end of the country. I live at the bottom end of the country. It's hard for us to meet up. But when we do, we have a we have a giant laugh. Buffering. One day be in the kitchen. Right. I took a taste of that without doing my usual introduction. 4.5% Norfolk Lager. This one is more, there's a lot more sweetness in this beer. Buffering. Hold on. Let me open the French door. That might help with the connection. Right, there's a direct, direct line now to the... I'm sure there's a dog's come in. Right, let me know if that's any better. Love from Rexon, I'm drinking ice cold. Tango foot, barbecue's on. Brilliant. Brilliant. Simon, thoughts on Delirium Red. Delirium Red's a really nice beer. I like the Delirium Tremendous beer, it's really good. Better, better, better. Yeah, that's better. Bloody glass doors, eh? Technology. Right. French lager. Yeah, it, this one. This one's a little bit darker than the previous beer, I think. There's not a lot in it, but it's... <clears throat> I'm picking up a lot more of the sweet malts in this lager. Lemony, grassy. Citrusy. A little bit dry. Life streets making me thirsty. Nice, very nice. Um, so this shelf, Chef Dalton. Somebody's already noticed I'm double packed. <laughs> I'm not going to get away with this, am I? I'm just going to like slowly slip them away <laughs> down the side. <laughs> French butt steak. Um, favorite American craft beer companies. Uh, I still like some of the old traditional ones, if you like, Stone Brewing Company. Although their beers are not as great as they used to be. Um, Firestone Walker, Other Half. I had my first Trillium beer the other day. Um, that was absolutely terrific. I've got a hair floating around my eye. Um, yeah, there's some wonderful, wonderful brews in America. Some of the classics, Anchor. Anchor makes some really, really nice, solid brews. Um, who else? 
Sierra Nevada, some of the big, big classic breweries. Um, Southern Tier, Southern Tier had a big presence on YouTube a few years ago. Um, when a certain Chad's Beer Reviews was reviewing his beers on, on YouTube, he used to send Southern Tier beers all over the world for people to try. And they got it, they gained a bit of traction from that, Southern Tier did. Uh, Union Jack IPA, perfect beer. Uh, as an Irishman, i got to ask, uh, what's your favourite Irish beer? Uh, I'm going to say my beer, uh, Simcoe Simon. I brought a beer in Northern Ireland with a company called... Oh, I got this dog, this dog's going to do my head in. Um, beer Hub Brewing Company, based in Northern Ireland. My friend, Tapil Patel, thinks John Smith's Extra Smooth is the best beer of all time. One of my thoughts on John Smith, check out my John Smith video. Uh, I made a video saying what's happened to John Smith. It's really bad, it's really terrible, it's not really good at all. Hello, Paul Moore, how are we doing? Uh, am I still angry at Brewdog? Well, I did that video um, the other... Oh, this morning, the, the zombie kick, the porter, that was okay, that was pretty decent. Oh, my wife's come to help me. Come and, come and, come and help. Come and help, come and say hello. I've got my pajama black pants on. They, they've seen them anyway. Come and say hello, come and sit here. Come sit here. No, where's the dog? The dog's going to go in a minute. Just come for a minute. You need to get glasses. Just come. Can you come see? here, a minute. A minute. Look, you made a right mess. I've made a mess already. Come a minute. It looks like I'm talking to myself. What do you think of this lager? This is Jew Hopper oh, Moon Gazer Norfolk Lager, four percent. Remember Craft Beer Lady? She's now. <laughs> uh, handmade cosmetics reviews. That's it. She got a soap. A soap channel now on YouTube. There are 77 people watching, lots of comments coming down the side. Mm -hmm. um, we had a problem with the light feed, so it was buffering, so I've opened the door. This is an Etta that would have been the best one. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to be honest, it smells better than it tastes. It gave me a thought that it was going to be a bit more hoppier in taste, but it's crisp. It is a lager. Yeah, it's, sure. it's not meant to be an IPA. It's a good lager. It's a craft lager. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Nice um, carbonation to it, mind. Nice and refreshing. I got seven to go. Mal, Mal's going to be playing on Grand Theft Auto all night in, instead of. Uh, yeah. Or what's I, the, I, the I, cowboy I'm... version of it? Oh, yeah, Red Dead. Red, Red Dead Redemption. Two. Two, number two. So she's going to be playing. I'm not one that looks forward to my going over. out so I can watch the soaps. Oh no. No, no. I look forward Red. to doing other stuff so that I get to play on my Xbox. On Red Dead Redemption, yeah. <laughs> What's uh, that one then? Uh, oh, try that. It's, I find that like a little bit sweeter. It's been made by a chef. Oh, Have you heard of sweet. Chef Galton? This guy. Been... Oh, yeah. You have? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know who he was. Sorry, if you're watching, Mr. Chef Galvin, I do apologise. Oh, I don't You don't? Oh, no, there we are. Um, it's a, a French lager hop. I thought it was a little bit sweeter than the last lager. Tiny bit. A little bit sweeter. Um, one. I prefer the crispiness of the other one. Actually. I think so, if I'm honest. Right, the dog's going in. back and forth, back and forth. Bye. Come on. Come on, Come on, Bye. Right. Okay. Let's... We've got nine, oh, we're on schedule. We're on schedule to get these nine done. We're still on schedule. Let me wrap up this, this Galton's number one Norfolk lager. I feel like I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but I'm gonna be very quick. Um, sweeter than the last lager, maltier, and not as crisp. Um, You'd be forgiven, I think you'd be forgiven for thinking that if you thought this was an ale, um, I don't think the, um, it would be too much of a problem. It, it's, it's, for me, it's more like an ale, this one, than a, than a lager. 
Let's finish it. Seeing a lot of cooking shows. Unfortunately, I haven't. I don't really watch too many cooking shows. Um, already, already feeling the bloat. Um, right, next one is called Stumble Stag. This is a premium Norfolk lager. And this is, I suppose, it's the only downside to drinking lager. It's the really kind of... I, I always find drinking lager completely bloats me out. Uh, Stubble Stag Premium Norfolk Lager. This one is coming in at 5% ABV. Again, brewed by the Norfolk Brew House. Um, today's sponsors, really, along with beersofeurope.co.uk. Oh. Oh, that's better. That's better. Medium golden colour, hoppy bitterness and a crisp finish. Uh, the lager is carefully crafted using a pro brewing process lasting several weeks, allowing the flavour and smoothness to, to develop. Brewing malt from the finest Maris Otter Valley and five hops. Challenger, Goldings, Halatau, Saz and Styrian Goldings. So this one could be quite dry. <coughs> using my lab split craft Brewery glass from Croatia, split in Croatia. Able to get all of this lager in. To the glass. <coughs> okay. Little bit of haze on this one. Uh, good levels of carbonation. One finger white head. Amber. I'm going to say that's amber in colour. Andy Carr. Let's check the comments. Uh, loads, of, loads of buffering again. Loads of buffering. Richard Bennett is made uh, by a chef. It's full of sugar and salt. <laughs> uh, I'm not a lager fan at all. Uh, get it down your Simon. Uh, true beauty, chef making plenty olive oil. <laughs> um, Stewie Evil Cap Brewing Company. They make some fabulous beer. Stewie does Evil Cap Brewing. Even if Simon thought of, thought of saying howdy before you get bladdered uh, and, uh, and lose your vision. Yeah, Marcus Malvey, hey, lager, 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 lager. Uh, Nigel, more views than Blue Van Man. No, I think we do about the same. It's about the same, 88, 88 live at the moment. Pretty good. Uh, the Blue Van Man will be back. We'll be back soon. Aroma. Yes, please, Stewie. Uh, looking good from here. <laughs> and then he goes on to say, the live stream, not you. <laughs> okay. Lemon, lemon grass. Citrusy, peppery, spicy. And let's dive in. I think they've worked on this one a bit more. I think this being there. I think if you were to go down around the area where they sold the beer in kegs, I imagine, around the area of Norfolk, you would probably find this lager in plenty of the pubs, I imagine. I imagine this is the one that they've, they've really worked on, they've really crafted, they've bettered it over time, um, they've refined it over time. Um, this, one, this one seems really good really kind of like a level above a, a better quality i'm sure the brewer won't mind me saying this 
This for me is a finished article. Crisp, sweet malts, good carbonation. Lemony, spicy, peppery, nice bitterness on the back end. That's more of a refined lager. Okay, I'm gonna catch up with some of the comments a moment and then we'll move on to the next beer. Uh, people just seem to be having a nice conversation between themselves. On your sixth already. Uh, Simon, do you have a clear number one beer of all time? That's really interesting. Pint size! There we go, pint size. Uh, I'll be about 65 rennies in by now. Uh, chocolate coffee caramel. Chocolate coffee caramel. Some of you guys are picking up on my phrases. You know when you review 5,000 odd beers, you're bound to get... I try and not fall into the tracks of... of, of just saying the same old thing over and over again. Um, how about more Kolsch? I like Kolsch. Rhubarb uh, uh, beer is helpful stuff. Uh, do the last beer naked. Uh, could do. It's an idea. Um, have you? Mango ciders. Wow. Stone the seagulls. That's somebody saying stone the seagulls. Just to wrap things up then, on this particular beer, it's probably the, the one they've been working on the longest, the one that they've really refined, they've got it down to, they've got it down to the, the tip of the needle, you know, they've really worked hard to, to shave off any of the rough edges, and it's a lovely, smooth, drinkable lag of that one. Uh, Stone Okay, uh, one more lager, and then I feel like I just want to jig around and, and get some of this carbonation up. Ugh. This one is called Moongazer, and it's a jackalope ginger lager. It's in a can. Uh, light gold colour, crisp, hoppy, with a ginger finish, brew with malt from the finest malted barley, two hops and fresh ginger, Maris Otter hops used. Stop staring, start gazing. <laughs> I'll be gazing now. Uh, they've, <laughs> they've called some of their beers Moon Gazer. I hope the moon don't come out later on. I'll be like, just staring at the moon. Right. My Lord Chambry glass. 103 people watching. Hello, everybody. How are we doing? This looks good. Uh, one finger, white head. Good levels of carbonation, big prominent aroma of ginger. I haven't put it to my nostrils yet. I'm I'm about that far away, and I can really get the, the prominence of ginger through. Um, light straw coloured amberish coloured beer. <laughs> Crap stricken Malta. So. <laughs> Okay, and I'm just checking out comments as well as we're watching. Oh, yes! First one of the night I'm really excited about. How many beers have I had? That's Dano 94. And one, two, three, four. There's five over there. Thank you. For, I've got to stop at this stage. I've drunk four beers. Four beers. Four lagers so far. I gotta say a massive, massive thank you. We've had our first super chat of the evening. Marcus Marburg, 50, it looks like Swedish. What's the currency? 
Swedish money. We've had 50 of some Swedish money. Thank you so very, very much. So Super Chat is a feature where if you fancy supporting us, there's a little dollar sign underneath the comments. If you hit that do dollar sign, you can donate a couple of couple of pounds to the channel. And it, you know, it just helps us along a little bit. It helps us along. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah. Nigel saying awesome, Marcus. Thank you very much. It works out at 10 pounds. Marcus, thank you so very much for the 10 pounds. Oh. That's very nice. That's very nice. Big ginger flavours coming through. Will be a money. Uh, what about eighty six? thousand ugandan dollars i got no idea what that that would turn out to be no idea that's very nice clean crisp refreshing dry finish lots of ginger but not just lots of ginger there's some lemon there's some spice, some pepperiness. <laughs> That's not fair. I'm just prepping you, okay? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, should I? Um, hello from Baghdad. Hello, Baghdad, Iraq. How are we doing? Favourite Jackie Chan movie, Simon? Um, oh, the one where they bamboo fighting. Andrew Gordon, two pound. Thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, Andrew Gordon this time. Thank you very, very much. Um, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, it's really good. Really, really good beer, this one. Lemony, ginger, spice, clean, lovely finish on the back end. Amazing, amazing beer, really good. Dry, crisp, refreshing, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, hello uh, from the moon. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, Portland, Oregon right now. What beers would you recommend as it's the craft beer capital of the US? Uh, um, I would recommend getting some fantastic New England IPA and I'm going to have a few, whatever your local brewery selling, get some of the New England IPA and have a big drink on that. Um, I got it. Paul Hunter. Say it. In shorts. Uh, okay. Um, have I ever drunk Baltic Porter? Yes, yes, yes. I've drunk plenty of Baltic Porters. Here's the time when my, my um, children come home from the grandparents. Every single, when you ring the front door of my house, every single light in the house flashes for 10 seconds. Great fun, great fun. Uh, stone the Crows, Stone the Crows. Um, I'm going to show Paul Hunter's comment. Maybe, maybe you don't like me too much, but we'll show the comment. There we go. Just show the comment. <laughs> uh, so. I better finish with this one up. I'm nice. 25 to 8. Now we've got five to go. Interesting stuff. The question I've got for you, I was meaning to ask you guys a question. And the question is. What beer number are you on? I'm on beer number four. What number beer are you on? It's, it's 25 to 8. If you're watching Europe, probably 25 to 9. Are you enjoying 
lots and lots of different beers. Oh, the beer hooligan. I've just had another £10 super chat. Um, thank you very much. The beer hooligan. £10. £10 super chat. Uh, have a drink on me, the butterfly collector, at the weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's we're probably up to about fifteen pound, which is absolutely fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Question: Beer number. What what number beer are you guys on at the moment? It's twenty five to twelve in Washington. Ah, don't worry about that. Get a beer. Zero here in Canada. People watching from all over. The Beer Hooligan. Check out his YouTube channel. The Beer Hooligan. Um, he's just reviewed Duval. There's a new hop that Duval have brought out. Uh, I can't think of the name of the hop now, but massively, massively fantastic. New beer. He's just reviewed on his channel. Check out the Beer Hooligan. Right, I'm going to move on. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying this ginger lager to the point where I want to drink it all right now, but I want to move on. What we'll do, we'll get them, get them reviewed, and then we'll revisit them um, later on. Uh, I drink a litre at a time, one down so far, 2.30 p.m. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Uh, Kashmir, the beer who are going to say this, the Kashmir, Duval, Triple Hop, Kashmir, check it out on his YouTube channel. He's just reviewed it. Uh, Simon, thoughts on Carl Pilkington? I don't really know anything about Carl Pilkington, if I'm completely honest. I know he was with, uh, was he with Ricky Gervais at one point? Or one of the, one of the actors, one of the, one of the TV series. I, I don't, I don't really know. I'm one of these, I'm very much internet focused. I watch Netflix, Amazon Prime, and YouTube. Very rare do I switch on that propaganda filled thing they call the TV and watch watch stuff on the BBC or ITV or, or Channel 4. Very rare. Sport, I watch sports on the TV, but when it comes to regular stuff, I, I don't bother. Netflix, YouTube, what was the other one? Amazon Prime. Han Rune K, Nordic 50, Nordic, is that Norwegian? Is that Norwegian money? If so, thank you very much for the 50 Norwegian monies. Cheers all. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This is turning out to be a fantastic night. Um, right, next one. Uh, we've got a. Uh, you're going to be pissed. Love, love the channel. <laughs> uh, good man, Hans. Uh, and me, absolutely. Norwegian Krona, absolutely. Thank you very much. Uh, Simon, have you ever tried Carlsberg Special Brew? Please review. Would be entertaining. Dan is on. Special Brew by Carlsberg. You're on. I'm going to review. Special Brew by Carlsberg one day after maybe in a few weeks. I've just got a, a bit on at the moment, but I will definitely get around to it. I've got to move my cursor. It's right in the way of the comments. Uh, uh, you need this money to pay for the day off tomorrow with a hangover. <laughs> uh, nine, people are saying, is it £9 a pint? No, it's more like £12, a pound, I think now. Uh, Carlsberg Elephant Lag, I remember having that as a kid on holiday. can't remember where I got it from. I was about 14. I got hold of a can of Carlsberg Elephant. I remember putting it to my mouth and it just tasted like poison. It really did. Being number five, also hello from a fellow Welshy. I'm up in mid, mid Wales, okay, big up the Welsh. 
Hello, the hello, the Welsh, hello, the Welsh. Um, I've never. Let's get the next beer open, and I'll talk about my Welshness. Um, let's get this Galton's number one Norfolk ale done. It's an it's by that chef Galton again. Um, Norfolk ale. These beers are from the Norfolk Brew House, and they were kindly sent by our channel sponsor, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Jeff Galton. <laughs> my bowel, my bowel, <laughs> my bowel's starting to move a little bit, everybody. Um, two finger, slightly off white head, good levels of carbonation this one's a darker much darker beer definitely an ale this one um i recommend summit 43's miss scarlet revolver toasted coconut mocha porter superb that sounds amazing robert in thailand uh, most restaurants serve beer sit down or fast food brilliant uh i'm always going to mcdonald's uh, with my beer in the pocket. <laughs> Brilliant. And my brother, Zotty Snag. Uh, I like coffee. Me too, in the morning. In the morning. Wouldn't have coffee in the afternoon. Only beer. Beer! Best Swedish brewery. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Interesting. Um, I quite like Oppy Gads. If I'm honest, I quite like Oppigard's Brewery. Um, I also like the Mohawk Brewery, really good brewery. Uh, Omni Polo, yeah, you know, uh, I'm, I'm undecided on Omni Polo. It's like all that adjunct stuff. Um, they don't even call some of their beers beers, they call them drinks. Uh, I, that might be controversial, I know. So I always, I don't know, I find it, when I, when I drink the beer, I always really like it, but um, yeah, I just find it a bit adjuncty this day and age. Mash, Mallow, Baltic, Imperial, Baltic, Porter, Stouts, and <laughs> it just goes on and on, doesn't it? Uh, cheers, Simon. Um, just brewing Bison and listening to your show, good combination. No worries, no worries. Have you tried Francis Can of Ice Beer? Francis Can of Ice Beer is one of my favourite ice beers of all time. I really like it. Really, really, really like Francis Can. Um, Simon of all the generic popular lagers, Carlsberg, etc. What would you pick if you had two? I've got a beer review coming up um, from Warsteiner. Foster's. Foster's. Um, I had like... Um, there's been a lot of generous people. My wife's talking to me again. A lot of generous people tonight. I've had a lot of super chats. A lot of super chats come in. You can't come in the picture now. She's in a dressing gown, everybody. You can't come in. I don't know what you're talking about. Super chats. Super chat. But they give me donations, money donations. There's been some really generous people on the on the live stream tonight. So this is this Chef Galton's um, beer. Oh, I was just about to answer that question. What 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 would I have out of a War Warsteiner? I picked up in Morrison's. Really good. That's not massive though, is it? It'd be by a massive German brewery. Is it? Probably be. Could everyone get that? It's in Morrison's. Three three bottles for five pound in Morrison's. Six sixty bottle, big bottle. Um, I think I think that would be my beer. It was really nice. What was the question? What would be the beer I chose out of all the generic lagers, i.e. Carlsberg Fosters? Yeah. We, we sometimes we buy a stubby, so don't we? No, we like buy... French stubbies. Not enough to... I, well, when we, we drink them, <laughs> but we haven't bought them for a long, long time. What, little stubbies? Mm. Have we? Sure, we had some recently. My favourite at the moment is vice beer. Yeah. 
We do sometimes. Yeah, maybe it's a French tubby. Maybe a little French tubby. My wife likes me drinking. We used to drink a long time ago. My wife likes me drinking vice beers. She says a wonderful mood after six vice beers. Doesn't matter what you drink, does it? <laughs> Uh, not a fan of Warsteiner, I thought it tasted skunky. Uh, I, I quite liked it. The review's coming soon of that, by the way. Uh, have you had Red Horse Simon from the Philippines, brewed by Samacal? Unfortunately not, no. But if you can get a hold of a bottle for me, I'd review it on the channel. There's no other way of me getting it here in the UK. So if you want me to drink Red Horse, please send me a bottle. Yeah, John, John Bands. Warsteiner is amazing. We used to sell it in Cubanas. Somebody's watching from Barry. Somebody's watching in Barry. Uh, Cubanas, blimey, that takes me back. Cubanas, blimey. Roy Lee, hi Simon, what number beer are you on now? One, two, three, four. This is beer number five. 131 people watching. Um, I haven't even mentioned flavours on this beer yet. Let's let's try and you know the problem is the problem is your palate needs resetting really. After beer three, four, five, it's very difficult to to continue pulling unique flavours from beer. It all starts to become a misty, blurry mess. Sweet, malty, biscuity, bready. Nutty in the flavour. Like a husk of brown bread, quite tasty. Simon, what was my first ever video? Oh, it was by Badger Ales 10 years ago, and it was called Badgers England's gold, I think it was. Um, I had no idea what I was talking about. I had no idea whatsoever what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> just, just, uh, just rambling on about something in my glass back then. Uh, this could get funny. Uh, beer number seven onwards. I think so. I think so, Rory. Uh, what's your favourite Unibrew beer? Unibrew facts, facts lager. Um, the Danish big litre can of fax lager. That's also coming up on the channel. That's coming up shortly too. I was at Lidl's the other day and I had this great, I've seen this great big can of beer and I thought that could only be fax, fax lager. Uh, somebody asked me about Brussels, pardon me, earlier on. Um, how many get drunk? Uh, you have to go to Canton. If you go to Brussels, go to Canton. Mm -hmm. Without a shadow of a doubt, if I could suggest one place to go to in Brussels, get yourself to Canton. Uh, terrific, terrific brewery in the centre of Brussels. Uh, Pilsner is making a comeback. I think so. I do really think so. It's an age thing. I found the older I'm getting, see that then? I can't just move my leg on my own anymore. I gotta like, I gotta like lift. You know when you get old and you're like, I gotta move my leg now. I must use my arm. Um, uh, the the beer hooligan's reviewing West Fletcheran Twelve at the weekend. Well then, the beer hooligan. Uh, Nigel Simon, are you doing a Oktoberfest? Me? Um, I don't. Uh, what, going to uh, Germany? I don't have it on the plans, not at the moment, but you never, you never say never, eh? Never say never. All ah, right, Dan. Simon, uh, I'm about to have a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale for the first time. Thoughts, never had it. Dan 94. Do you know, I want to mention at this stage of the beer reviews that through the help of the Blue Van Man, I've picked up a lot of younger support on the channel. I like this because, as you can see, Dan94 has picked up a bottle of Sierra Nevada Pale Ale for the first time 
he's asking me he's obviously intrigued by the channel he's intrigued by what we're doing and it's exactly why we do it here on the channel is to get people intrigued to get them involved in beer and to get them to drink good beer so dan 94 the very best of luck i hope you enjoy the sierra nevada pale ale you should get aromas of some nice great fruit and some i haven't had it for a long time a little bit of pepperiness grapefruit a real kind of abundance of, of, of juicy kind of hops coming through yeah it, it's a really good starter beer it's a really good beer to get you on your very first journey into the craft beer world dan 94 next this time next year you'll be drinking cloud water you'll be drinking verdant and you'll be you'll be going so glad I found your channel. That's why we do it. Beer hooligan, that would be it. Where are we? Well, I've missed a couple of comments here from the beer hooligan. Um, oh, I think we're talking about West, Westy 12. Uh, oh, Stefan uh, Berglund's looking forward to Brewski Festival in August. Simon, see you there. I will be there. Flights are sorted, hotels sorted. I'm having a stand in the middle of the festival. Um, so Brewski Festival in Sweden, August 22nd, I'll be at the festival. They're building me my own stand, my own real ale craft beer stand, where I'll be standing there, drinking beer, hosting, saying hello to all of the lovely Swedish people. I can't wait, I really can't wait. I'm really looking forward to that. So you've got about a month, over a month to sort it out if you want to come and see me if you're watching from sweden if you want to come and see me come and have a look at the bruce brewski festival and we'll have a really good time we will have a scream a really good laugh um somehow about a live stream for october fest uk beer reviewers do october fest why not mac be hooligan you're in charge we'll host it here on my channel you can organize everything I'm just so busy at the moment, that's all. I'm so busy and I'm so worn out. But grab <clears throat> five, six, seven, whatever. Grab a load of beer tubers. We'll host it here on the channel. Date, time, get it all set. I'll let the people know on the internet about it and we'll do a massive Oktoberfest live stream here on my channel. You've got yourself a deal there. Um, yes, we're on. Um, and we'll chat about it later. Absolutely. Uh, or maybe if I'm too drunk, we'll chat about it tomorrow morning. <laughs> um, is your wife away, mate? And that's why you're getting the be like, no, my wife's just been in. She's just been talking to me. She's been Red Dead Redemption next door. Hundred and twenty-four people watching at this stage of the, the live stream. Um, is it possible that some of you lovely people can share this by liking it? If you could like, give us a like. We got forty nine likes. If we can get into over a hundred likes, we'll get we'll get the. There we go. We just passed fifty. If you can like the live stream, that would be terrific. We'll get it shared. We'll get it up there. We'll get the viewers up there. That'd be amazing. Thank you very much. Glass roof above me. My cat that never leaves the house is on the glass roof above me. I just heard creaking. I was like, that's got to be that fat cat. That fat old cat. And it is. I can see all the underside of it. Ooh, not a nice sight. Um, mango, orange peel and passion fruit. Not in this one, my good friend. Seventy likes, gone from fifty-one to seventy-one likes. Marvelous, marvelous. If we can get it up to, if we can get it up to a hundred likes, that would be absolutely fantastic. It just means the light, the streams being shared with with other beautiful, like-minded people. Uh, on my second liter of brew, well done, Kenny. Kenny's on his second liter 
Um, I'm probably still on my first, if I'm honest, because I've been doing a lot of talking. And i got a belly full of Indian food. Um, just saying on Twitter, Rory Lee, you are an absolute... Do you know, one person that intrigues me in life is Rory Lee. He's really intelligent about beer, knows his stuff. Never met him. Never met him. I got to meet Rory Lee one day at a beer festival. Really knowledgeable guy on beer. Um, thank you, Rory. <clears throat> BDB reviews. I can't wait till you get a picture and down it all. That's what's happening. I'm saving them all till later, and then I'm going to put it in a massive jug and, and yeah, finish them all off later. But I got to pass this Indian takeaway first. I really have 84 likes, 122 people watching. Fantastic. Thank you very much. What's this? Where's Dave? <laughs> um, we just, uh, we just, Dave, I think Dave's working. I think Dave's working this week. Um, Dave will be back next week. He's working this week. Uh, thank you. We are come down to Barry, uh, not far from Gloucester on the train. Oh, I was up February with Hopsin and some of the other beer reviewers. I was up in Dea. You should have come to Dea. We should have got you to come over to Dea that day. There's my friend, Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. Good evening. Have you tried Beaver Town lately? I've not had a Beaver Town beer in a long time. I don't know why. I really don't know why. James C. I'm from Blue Man Man Channel. I uh, just ripped, uh, just ripped a few bombs. Stone bro. Love your videos and streams, but enjoy your burst. Keep up the work as always. Thank you very much, James C. Thank you. There's a shout out to you. Thank you so very much. Do you have a favourite hop? Used to. My favourite hop, believe it or not, used to be Cascade. Um, it's probably. Either Simcoe or Citra. Probably, if you ask me to choose one hop, I'd probably say Simcoe. Um, I, I love Simcoe. It's a, it's a wonderful hop. Uh, beer bar, and it was 8.15. A bloody hour a couple of days ago. Quality drop. It, it's nice to see. Because some people, Jenkins, 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 some people are saying Beaver Town beers are okay. Some people are saying Beaver Town beers are not the same anymore. It's nice to hear two sides, two different opinions on on this very subject. Is it still good? Have their standards dropped? Bloody, bloody, blah. I mean, it's down to some people's own personal opinion. I've really got to move on to the next beer. All of a sudden, I've, I've slapped down on, on beer number five. Ah, oh, bugger. These beers I've been saving up. There's a bloody fly in that one. Ah, oh, look at that. Dirty bugger. And there's a bloody fly in this one as well. Ah. Oh. Look at that. He's probably... Can you imagine swimming around in beer? <laughs> You might just swimming around in beer. Blimey, blimey. Um, right, okay. Galton's number one Norfolk Ale rating. Nice and sweet. Biscuity, bready. A little bit nutty. It's good. It's good. We got 88 likes. 88 likes. <coughs> We need 12 more likes, 12 more likes for 100 likes. Please like the video. If we can get it to 100 likes, that would be absolutely terrific. Thank you very much. If you notice, guys, the 136, when you're liking the video, the more people are liking it, the more people are watching. When, when I ask you to like it, there we go, we're over 100 likes. When I ask people to start liking the video, when we're on about 100 like, 100 people watching, 
£14.99 from Greg Jackson. Thank you very much, Greg. You are an absolute star. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. I, know that. I think that's the one of the one of the largest super chats we've ever had on the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much, Greg, for the £15 donation on the channel. Unbelievable. Um, there's a dollar sign underneath the comments. Um, of course, it's a, it's a super chat thing where if you want to donate, if you like what you see, if you want to donate to the channel, helps us along a bit, you can hit that dollar sign if you like. I'm not, I'm not going to start jumping on the floor begging about it, but um, thank you very, very, very much. Very, very much for $14.99. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right. As I was saying, the more people like the, the stream, the more people watch. It's a snowball. Let's get this snowball rolling. Rating for this Galton's number one Norfolk Ale. <coughs> yeah, I like that. I like that enough to give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Uh, I've had Tint Meadow. You guys only trap this beer. Oh, I've heard of this. Lots of people, lots of people talking about this Tint Meadow um, thing. I've really got to, really got to get all of that beer. I really have. Uh, right. We have a mild 4.9, an amber at 3.9, a gold at 4%, or a Norfolk ruby at 4%, all from the Norfolk brew house. I'm going to leave the mild till last. Looks like a really kind of like nice dark beer there. Um, the amber. I'm going to go with the amber ale. This is called Moon Gazer Jumper Norfolk Amber Ale at 3.9% ABV. I'll probably drink this one and then I'll probably be looking for a toilet break. <clears throat> Marcus, again, he's put, wow, 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 wow. Uh, your opinion on dry hopped lagers. That's a really nice kind of like thing to do that, isn't it? I mean, it's really pulled this comment out. Um, my opinion on dry hopped lagers. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Especially when they use American hops. When a dry hopped lager has been dry hopped with American hops and it's crisp, it's, it's dry, it's refreshing, pardon me. And you've got that really hoppy kick on the back end. Absolutely tremendous, absolutely tremendous. I'm a big fan of dry hop lagers. Right, Jumper, Norfolk Amber Ale. By the Norfolk Brew House, here we go. Two finger, white head, good levels of carbonation, roasty kind of amber coloured beer. Uh, first toilet break coming up, well, I see Simon will take three breaks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you know, my bladder is not great. My bladder is not great. It really isn't. Um, amber malt is for a certain taste. I think I'm going to say a certain generation then. Uh, I'll be asleep by the third P. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the Italian craft beer scene? Cheers from Italy. Hello, Ivan. Uh, uh, we love your reviews. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn. Hey Siri, stop. Bloody assist smart like a one there. One bugger there. 
one over there, listening to me all the time, like this walking around the house. Who's listening to me? <laughs> right. What oh, I can't remember what I'm talking about now. Oh, Italian craft beer, that's it. Um, I was in the Venice beer shop um, on my birthday, May the 1st. Went to Italy with the family. I drank some wonderful Italian beer. I'm a big, big fan of Italian craft beer. I really am. I really am. It, the, the problem for me is I can't get enough of it. I can't get enough of it here in the UK. If I get more Italian craft beer, I would review more Italian craft beer. I really would. I'm a massive fan of Italian craft beer. I think I got my point across there. Um, right, aroma on this on this beer, this, this jumper amber ale. Biscuity, slightly dry, nutty, a little bit of sweetness. I'm getting warm. Oh, I'm getting warm. Oof. Uh, yo, Simon, just finished our barbecue and we're still on washing down the, uh, the, the food with more badger tangle for can't fault it. Can't fault it. Uh, Kenny, like my Polish videos, I enjoyed Poland. I got another one coming up, Sweden. Sweden's coming up now in August. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. It should be a really good laugh. Really good laugh. Adrian, greetings from Poland. Uh, smells of Hogwarts Tuck Shop. Uh, okay, Tilly Con came tonight for the for the dinner. How was Poland? Loved it. Love Poland. I go every. Well, I missed. I missed last year, but I more or less go every year to Poland. Massive fan of Poland. Uh, Sunny Day fans. They are fine. As a hop fan, just started. Warsaw area below. I believe Brava. Okay, I sorry, I couldn't quite get that. Uh, that comment there. Never mind, sorry. Uh, I'm going to the famous Degar next week in Bruges. Amazing. Sounds amazing. <coughs> Are you going to the Omni Polo tap room when you go to Sweden? Um, I'm going to Bruski. Uh, Bruski Festival. Uh, where is it? I'll have to have a look on the, on the map. If it's, if it's close enough and I have time, I'll probably make my way to the Omnipolo tap and, and have a look. Have a look at some of the ice cream, banana, walnuts, imperial stouts. <laughs> just just having a laugh. I've gone all warm. Feel like, it feels like my, you know, if I hold my breath, it feels like my head's going to pop off. Must be my blood pressure. Right, good carbonation. Drinkable, slightly roasty, toasty beer. Refreshing, nicely bitters on the back end. Traditional British ale, this one. Traditional British Amber Ale at 3.9% ABV. Let's rate it. I like that. I like that to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Milo Craft Beer. Hecken Hendrickson, 30 Swedish monies. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it. That's the short. Well, man, I can't wait for the picture, Chug. Uh, 
Yeah, you haven't let me forget about that, have you? Um, you can do it, Simon. Just another four to go. Uh, three, three more to go. Three more to go. My lawn. I want to say another thank you to Keekin for the for the super chat donation. It really helps with the channel. It really does. Um, helps us along nicely. Thank you very much for the super chat donation to the channel. Thank you. My lawn is there. I'm wondering, is it quicker? Yeah, I better go. I better go upstairs. Right. Can I have a moment? I need one more beer. One more beer. One, one more beer. Here we go. Right. Before the before the dreaded, you know, if you break the seal and you go to the toilet, you break the seal, you know that's the end, that's the very end. You're gonna be peeing every 15 minutes. Uh that's what I'm thinking of just Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. I was thinking of uh, doing that very thing on the Lord, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, let's do a let's do a golden ale. Uh, by the Norfolk Brew House is their Moon Gazer Norfolk Golden Beer. Charles Dunn, twenty pound. That might that might have broken all the records. That might that twenty pound there might have broken all the records. Thank you very much for the super chat donation. That is absolutely fantastic. Stone the crows, Charles. Thank you. Have a few beers now. Have a few beers now, me son. No worries. I will have a few beers on you. Thank you very much. Andreas Carlson has just donated 40. Your phone's gone. I don't even know where my phone is. My phone's ringing. Yeah. And, uh, Look, Molly, there's a 20 pound, there's a 40 euro Swedish, Swedish. This is my daughter, Molly. Oh, I got my daughter, Molly. She look, she's going to open it. She's going to do a first live no. beer review. No. She's going to do, do a first live beer review. Oh. Right. People are mad. They wait, you know, people wait till the evening to ring me. Why are people ringing me in the evening? Right. 115 live people watching, 119 likes. I'm not drinking it, I'll just smell it. Have a sip. No, I'll Go just on. smell it. Have a sip. You're 12 now. I was already drinking by the time I was 12. I'm not going to drink. Come on. No. Right, I'll get in trouble. I'll have the... You, no, 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 don't open it, I think. Which one are you on? I'll have the beer police after me. Not the beer, I'll have the school after me. The school will be watching. Go on. I will. Right. <laughs> have a drink, Molly. Have a drink. I was drinking by the time I was 12. <laughs> right. Donny College. <laughs> Scar for life. No time in this trouble. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was thinking that. There's so many. Is you know if someone takes a screenshot of that and sends it off to the police, you know it, there's so many. Oh God, what kind of world are we living in now? When you can't give your twelve-year-old daughter a sip of beer. I picked up a different beer now. This is the five percent. Oh man. Was it that one? Was I drinking that one? Can anybody remember? I can't remember anymore. Snowflakes everywhere. Oh, I'll have, oh God. I'll have that female beer blogger telling me I'm a sexist pig or something, won't I? Uh, when is there going to be Real Alcafia merch? 
Uh, I've done that. I did that when I first started. I've started doing T-shirts. People are not interested in buying T-shirts off me. I, the merch. My, it was my uncle. My uncle. Uh, how many have I I think... I can't remember where I was. My first sip of beer was what these parallel at the age of five in 1977. Well done. Well done, Mark the Beer Hooligan. Um, it haven't harmed you, is it? It haven't harmed you. It haven't harmed me. It haven't harmed anybody who drinks beer. Blimey. Unless you go on to drinking spirits, and, and then that's the end of you, isn't it? If you start drinking bottles of spirits, um, some people are saying, oh, stepping stones down the wrong direction. Um, started drinking, then he wanted something stronger, then he wanted something stronger, then you ended up an alcoholic. It, oh, whatever, whatever. Big fan of you from Scotland. Keep it up, brother. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Uh... Uh, finish all the glasses and your head will clear up. Yeah. Uh, first sip of beer was usually on a... Where did that go? On a Sunday, if you ate your Sunday lunch. <laughs> Greetings from Barcelona! I love Barcelona! I was in Barcelona last year. I had a wonderful time in Barcelona. I visited Garage Beer. I visited all the wonderful brews. I visited a sour brewery that... Did some work with Cantillon. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing, amazing place. Barcelona for beer. Really is. Well, another one as well. Um, pir pirate. Is it pirate beer? Pirate? Pirate? Do you drink every day? Yeah, I think so. I think so. so. The days I don't, I make up for it on the days I do. <laughs> So I suppose every day, you know. Pujala, they make some really good beer. Pujala. Anyway, we got a bit lost. We got a bit lost in translation. I tell you what, I was. I was going to open up another beer, wasn't I? That's where I was lost. I was going to open up another beer. Right. Beer number six. Seven, eight. Beer number seven. This is beer number seven. Uh, Hop, Hop Stuff Brewery has been bought by Molson Coors. Hop Stuff Brewery? Hop Stuff Brewery. I think. Have I had some of their beers? Is that that? That crowdfunded thing that I can't remember. Hop stuff. Oath of the Abyss. Does your wife ever moan at you for drinking every day? No. No. I got a wonderful wife. She really is wonderful. This is called Jigfoot. It's a Norfolk Golden Ale at 4% ABV. And I got a little bit of fluff coming out the top of the, the bottle. Back in the day, I mean, I don't go to the, I don't, but I'm very, I, I don't go to the pub on my own. I don't. I, I made a decision. You know, and this is a, a genuine answer to the question of, does my wife moan that I drink every day? I made a conscious decision when my children were born. Just noticed Charles done that 20 pound thing still at the top. Well then Charles then. Um, I, made, I made a conscious decision when my children were born to drink in the house, 
to have a drink in the house and to only really drink in the house. Um, my wife, she understands me, I understand her. Some blokes finish work, they go straight to the pub. Five days a week, they'll, they'll, they'll finish work and go to the pub for at least two hours. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't at all. I don't, um, what's the word? Go on, but someone's talking about a pee and now I'm like, oh, I need a pee. Um, I don't belittle, I don't, is that the word? I don't belittle people who go to the pub after work for, for a few pints. I don't, I've got, you know, that's, that's absolutely no problem whatsoever. I'm just saying I made a decision. I made my own decision in life to, the moment my, my, my daughter's 12, the one we just sat here, she's 12. My channel's 10 years old. So when my daughter was two, I made the decision to open up a YouTube channel and sit in the house and drink beer and review beer. Little did I know back then that I'd be sitting live in front of 126 people um, talking about beer. Um, this, for me, as a personal thing, is, is a much nicer experience because you're like-minded people. You guys are like-minded people. You, you, you know as much about beer as I do, and, and, and some of you don't are really interested that I'm talking about it. If I was in the pub, I'd be drinking the same old beer over and over and over and over. It'd be like your life would be in a loop, a real bad loop of, of just drinking pedigree, you know, over and over again. You know, it'd be like, oh, head in your hands. What am I doing with my life? I'm drinking pedigree every single day. And and that's what that's what would would um exactly that. One Sub ten, F the pub prizes and their and their rubbish selection. Yeah, I, I kind of agree, and, and that's exactly what I was just saying. You go to the pub, you find your favourite pub, you meet friends. Your friends would be telling you how how good I did it. My father-in-law come down. We went to the pub a couple of weeks ago, and a guy stood at the bar drinking John Smiths, saying how John Smith was the best beer in the world. Somehow he cottoned on to what I was doing. I was a beer reviewer and I drank all these different beers and he stood there, you know, one of those, one of those tapping the table as he was speaking. John Smith is the best beer in the world. And, and I'm not going to argue with him. Why, why would I argue with him? I'm not going to get into a conversation like that. Why would I get in a conversation like that? What I'm saying is, is that I'm talking to like-minded people on the internet. You guys, I'm happy here. Right, Nordic 50 pounds from simu simulation. I need glasses. Simulation dweller. Cheers from Bergen, Norway. Thank you very, very much for the 50 Nordic, Norwegian monies. Thank you very, very much. <sighs> right. I poured this beer five minutes ago. I haven't got the other Right. Amber in colour. It's called a golden ale. Amber golden in colour. Clear, good carbonation. One finger white out aroma. Lemony, slightly spicy, biscuity. There's biscuits in this, like like kind of crackers, Jacob's crackers. Lighter, lighter in the flavour, lighter in the taste, refreshing. Good levels of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Four percent ABV, 
very sessionable. Sweetness to begin with, a little bit of bitterness on the back end. Did I review my curry? No, 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 no. No, it was one of those Morrisons in the jar curries. Nothing, nothing really to see there. Right, I can't hold on anymore. I cannot hold on anymore. I will be two minutes. Toilet break coming up. Promise you I'll be back in two minutes. I can. I can't carry on anymore. I'll be back now. <clears throat> My dad will be back. No, <laughs> it's because he's having a wee. So, we'll be back. Hundred and thirty five people still watching. Ha <laughs> That's better. Oh, I got a belt this function going on. That's a rather awkward, didn't it? Right. Uh let's get it on. Some lovely steam on the lovely <laughs> ambering colour. Stone the crows. Uh did you wash? No time, no time. Uh, your belt. Yeah, my belt. <laughs> right, uh, party for Christmas. Yeah, right here, right here in front of me. Uh, so, hey, so funny. Uh, Simon Rocco, love you. Bratswab, I love Bratswab, love your face. Uh, Simon, yeah. Yeah, you've got me, you've got me. Hazy. No, there'd be trouble there. If it was hazy, there'd be trouble. Uh, is old Tom still the best beer in the world? Old Tom. Old Tom Strong Ale by Robinson's. That was one of their best-selling beers, old Tom. It was about, back in the day, it was 8.5% ABV, old Tom. Unbelievable beer. Unbelievable. <clears throat> The coolest drinker. Are you doing me? I haven't seen you since February. We've got to meet up again. We've got to do another meet up. I enjoyed having a few pints with you with Daya. It was a really good, um, really good few hours. I, I remember staggering onto the train and um, I fell asleep. I remember opening it in the sandwich box. So here's the story. I went out with a load of YouTubers. We made a lot of videos at Daya Brewing Company. And I got really drunk at this at this brewery. And um, Harry, Harry, Blue Nose Beer Reviews, helped me onto my train. And 
I remember sitting on my drive, I opened the sandwich box. And then the next thing I remember is waking up in Newport. So that's, where were we? Not Gloucester, Cheltenham. Cheltenham Spa to Newport, which is about an hour or so on the train. I remember opening my sandwich box at Cheltenham Spa. And I remember waking, and I did, I woke up in Newport with a sandwich hanging out my mouth. I sat in a chair. Sandwich, sandwich there, hanging out my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I duly finished the sandwich at Newport train station, and then I got off at Cardiff. Um, it was a good. It was a good day. It was a good day. Uh, right, okay. Uh, let me reviews, mate. Uh, do you know what happened to Beer Goggle? Uh, love watching, but he seems to disappear. Um, Beer Goggles, not lovely fella. Lo lovely, lovely fella. He really is. Um, I, I, to be honest, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what happened to, to um, Beer Goggles Reviews. Uh, he's a lovely guy. He's, he's a lovely, lovely guy. Right, let's move on. Change your channel name to... Yeah, but my name's quite clever. My channel name is quite clever. If you search Real Ale, in YouTube, you find my channel. If you search craft beer in YouTube, you can sometimes find my channel at the top. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. If you search beer, if you search ale, it's all in the name. It all links back. So I, I chose that name uh, for that very reason. Simon the Beer Warrior might be a bit tougher to find me on YouTube. Um, but I, helpful stuff. I, I understand where you're coming from. I think he fell asleep on the loo. Uh, uh, he did a review of biscuits. Uh, great. I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, bis biscuits. Yeah. I remember. Um, right. Let's get back to business in a little minute. Let's finish up this review of Jigfoot. Jigfoot North of Golden Ale. By the North of Brewhouse. And again, this video was sponsored by our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Finishing up this review, two finger white head, good levels of carbonation. But 141, 141 people watching, thank you very much. So those 141 people watching, let's create this snowball. If you can like the video, if you can get us to maybe 150 likes, that would be tremendous. Thank you very much. If you can like the video, the 140 people watching, we'll snowball it, we'll get it. We'll, we're just going to get more people tuned in. We'll get more people watching. We're going to snowball this video into the mainstream of YouTube. <laughs> Hundred and never mind 140, 146. That's amazing. What did I say? 150. 150 likes on this video. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Can I dub uh, with my children? What's dubbing? I know I've heard of dubstep. I've heard of dubstep. But is it like this? Is this dubbing? My dubbing. <laughs> um, ciao. Francesca, ciao. Uh, uh, on the, on the, oh, ouchie. Uh, South Wales is literally the origin of, of the legends. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, Real ill, I subscribe to you. Real ill. One... <laughs> 180, 180 likes, 160 likes we got, which is absolutely tremendous. We got 147. See, this is what I'm talking about. The more people like the video, the more people tune in. It's a strange thing. By by liking the video, you're sharing the video. You're sharing the live stream. So by you liking it, you're sharing it, and it's like this strange snowball effect that just carries on and on and on uh, until 
I don't know. This could be the, a twelve-hour live stream. I might, I might park my head here for a few hours after drinking all this lovely beer. The back door's open. I might get bitten by a fox. Oh! Francesco, thank you very much, Francesco. My apologies. <sighs> you should review some Polly's brews, mate. Rory Lee, I think I got the ump. I think I got the ump. Um, I'm from Wales. They're from Wales. They don't know who I am. I don't really know who they are. It's a bit like, it's a bit like, I don't know, to be honest. It's a bit like we should be working together. We should be, we should be doing stuff together. Why, why is it that you've got this fantastic brewery in Wales that I've never reviewed? You thumb down, <laughs> no worries. Um, never reviewed any of their any of their beer they, and, and it's a bit it's a bit strange it's a bit strange you've got to be honest it's i don't know i don't know what i'm saying at this point uh yeah they're from mold right doing some great stuff <laughs> i think i a call just a quick question to rory lee do Polly's Brewery, these people are called Lock of Polly, do they? Polly's Brewery, do they have a core range? Have they got a core range of beer that I can review on YouTube? If they have, I'll probably review their core range. Um, I'm reviewing Tint Meadow at the weekend. Uh, can you buy... Can we buy your beer? Yeah, you can buy Barry Island IPA, you can buy all sorts of different beers. Um... If you're in Ireland, you can buy Simcoe Simon. If you're in Belgium, you can buy by collaboration with Brewery the Dr. Van der Karnen. It's getting dark. Alexa. Alexa. Hey Siri, turn on the conservatory lights. All set. Okay. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. It's a bit too light, isn't it? Is that a bit too light? Hey Siri, turn the conservatory lights pink. Okay, all set. <laughs> red, red light. Let's get the red light going. Hey Siri, turn the conservatory lights red. <laughs> Oh, now we're going as red as my face. This is my, this is my toy out here. This is my, I built this. I'm very happy with it. This is my little kind of den. I got my telly on the wall. Yeah, I love it out here. I got the garden just next to me. It's a beautiful, beautiful path. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, scary technology really yeah yeah it is bonkers looks like a knocking shop yeah you gotta be so careful on youtube these days if you say like the, the incorrect words they'll strike your blooming video off if you if you swear a lot and if you if you say certain stuff, they'll strike you off these days. The den of tranquility. Absolutely. Um 155 people watching, 165 likes. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, YouTube is a liberal media site. I'm not taking my shirt off, Jenkins, Jenkins, Jenkins. No way. 
<laughs> uh, looks like Simon's uh, station. Call me Simon. Turn it green. Red's not very good, is it? Hey Siri, turn the conservatory lights green. Okay. Uh, does that work? Yeah, it's better than the red, isn't it? Makes me look like the Hulk. <laughs> I hope that's his bells I can see in the silhouette of something else. Oh man, I like the old belts. Uh, the old wanger tangs hanging out again. Um, yeah, yellow is cool and green. Epic. Uh, we need some crisps. Crisps. I need crisps. I need a pee as well. The old trouser tent. Yeah. No, red is better. Uh, turn them blue. Okay. Be a hooligan. You need a Siri and you need a, a, a Philips Hue lighting system in your beer shed. The beer hooligan. Mark, you need that in your shed. You'd, you'd be changing, you'd be putting the disco lights on. Hey Siri, turn the conservatory lights blue. What's it? <laughs> I like that. I like blue. Blue's good. Microwave food. Uh, love the content, buddy. How many beers win? Okay. Cats on the roof again. Um, let's finish up this. Jigger for Jigfoot, Norfolk Golden, 4% ABV. Just a lovely beer. I've had a really nice evening. And these beers have allowed me to have a really nice evening. They've all been 4, 4.5, four 5% ABV. None of them have been wacky, you know, double IPAs, Imperial Stout. I love those styles of beers, but for what we're doing tonight, there would be no way to drink a Imperial Stout by the gallon or double IPAs by the gallon. What we're doing here tonight, I'm sitting here having a session with you. I'm with you having a session. What are you guys drinking? Let me know in the comments. What are you guys drinking? Yeah, man, uh, I want to do a night of IP or he's blonde again. Uh, let's hate the next day. Chug, chug, chug. That's what porters are for. Uh, down it like a syndrome. Beer o'clock. Pour them all. In the fishbowl. Yeah, yeah. Remember the old fishbowl glass? Uh, Someone drinking a 9.2% ABV beer. Somebody's drinking a Bishop's Finger. Somebody's drinking a Daya. We're already drinking a Daya. Liam's drinking a Bishop's Finger. Rick is drinking water. Rick must be in California. Um, Thomas is drinking a Stink Baguettes. Will is drinking a Vice Beer. And a Vice Beer. I had that one. Um, and and you know, Phil Jones is drinking it. It's like it's like the bloody lottery, yeah. Um, Italian beer, the old Borgo, real ale, Francesco. Um, Paul Hunter's drinking a homebrew bitter. Paul Freeman's drinking a punk IPA. The Kingsley is drinking a vocation, life and death. Cameron's uh, it's going too quick. It's going too quick. Buck fast. Uh, Kim Vast, Chin Chong Chow. Um, Big Bunny, Big D Dublin Death. Um, Pilsner, Tangerine Tats. Rosie, old Rosie, Carlsberg, uh, White Lightning, Fosters, Sam Adams, Proper Job, Vocation, Life and Death, Treehouse, Wild Beer, Pogo, Tenant Super. Are you happy now? I've lost my voice. <laughs> I've lost my voice. Uh, oof, uh, when did you become so lost? When, when did I become so lost? Uh, I'm going to keep my spirits up. I'm going to keep my spirits up. Uh, that, that's a question maybe maybe that I don't want to answer. I don't find myself a lost, lost person. I find myself a very happy person. Why not? Why not? It's a nice beer. It's a nice beer. It's a 7 out of 10. 
as Jigfoot by Norfolk Brewhouse and it's their Moongazer. Two to go, two to go, two to go. Norfolk Ruby. Uh, how do you define right from wrong? Definitions vary. How do I define right from wrong? Are you talking about beer? Are you talking about just beer or life in general? <laughs> this is a Nibbler Norfolk Ruby Ale. I don't think you can define right from wrong, can you, in life? Um, some people in life, certain religions in life, would find what I'm doing here wrong. Um, I, I'm not a religious person, so I find it fine what I'm doing. I suppose it, it's, you know, sometimes in life there's big influences on your life. Sometimes you're born into a certain religion. Sometimes you're you're born with a a way of of of, of drinking is evil. Maybe your parents brought you up to say drinking was evil. I was lucky enough to have parents and grandparents who drank like fish, and and they all lived long lives. They all lived long lives. Um. So. So. What I'm saying is, if you're brought up with the thinking from your parents or the people who brought you up that drinking was bad and if you had a Tommy tank, you'd have warts on your hands, that sort of kind of mentality, then you need to, you need to maybe snap out of it. You, may, you maybe need to um, absolutely not. Look at this comment. It's absolutely outrageous. You've all seen my belt tonight. You don't need to see anything else. Um, I just allowed that comment just for a bit of fun. So yeah, if some religions don't allow you to to, to drink, um, it's an influence. It's it's a it's an influence. Personally, my mind is free. My mind is completely free. I do what I want, when I want, how I want. Just how I am. Uh, uh oh, talking about. <laughs> I better not, I better not. I used to have a, um, I used to have a troll here on YouTube. Uh, a, tr a proper troll, write like comments, like it was like the length of a book. It was a copy and paste job, just about how how bad drinking is and and how you're gonna die and 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 I, I would never reply. I don't reply to people like that. Just no point. I, I don't have the time to reply to people like that. I. I don't push alcohol. I don't push alcohol. What I do do is answer your questions. So if you're intrigued about beer, you ask me a question about beer, I will go, try this beer, try that beer. If you like this style, try that style. What I won't do, what I won't do is say, if somebody put a comment, I don't drink alcohol, why should I drink? I wouldn't answer that question. I just would not answer. It's too much trouble. It's too much trouble. If somebody said, I enjoyed that English pale ale, where can I find an American pale ale? I'll answer all day long. I'll answer the question on YouTube all day long. You've got to be very, you've got to be very, uh, is exactly what Jenkins 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 said earlier on in the comments. Uh oh, he's talking about religion on the internet. It's a touchy, it's a touchy subject. 
same as politics, same as same as anything, where people form an opinion. This is a Norfolk Ruby Ale called Nibbler from the Norfolk Brew House. Proudly sponsored today this video by beersofeurope.co.uk. One finger white head, ruby in colour. There's a look at the beer. Let's get the aroma. Hey Jenkins, Jenkins, the, the lawn, the lawn is looking increasingly like a viable option at this point. Uh, I knew I said, the god, do, 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 dukes is, uh, the, the god of beer, <laughs> the god of beer. That's nice. That's a very nice beer. Malty, biscuity, bready, exactly what you'd expect from a mild. There's some roasty, it's not a mild. The next one's a mild. This is a, this is a ruby, okay. Is it such a roasted malt in this ruby beer? You can tell by the color of this ruby beer that there's a little bit of, of, of roasted malt here. Uh, My goodness me, look at the offers I'm getting off. Mr. Mooney. Is it a man or is it a woman? Wow. Four inch. You'd be lucky. Uh, bald Brewing. This is beer number eight. Beer number eight. I just wanted to quickly touch on that this is slightly roasty there's a there's a there's a little touch of roastiness coming through here um there's a little bit of roasted malt i like that i like that in a beer it's very tasty oh the happy beer guys and it makes me happy hello hello i'm here to make you happy one thing i would like to say before again i've broken the seal i'm sorry guys i've broken the seal i gotta go again <sighs> um we have 181 likes can we get it to 200 200 like pardon me i'm hiccuping it's never a good sign i'll start again 146 people watching. Could we get to 200 likes? We got 182 likes at the moment. If we can get to 200 likes, that would be absolutely fantastic. I will be back in a moment. I've broken the seal. I must go to the bathroom again.
Okay, we're back. Two on the dot, on the nose. We got 200 likes. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you all so very much for liking today's video. That is absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Uh, no, no, no. When I say broken the seal, it's a P. Uh, time for some crisps. Uh, when I drink, can't keep my hands off pizza roll. Oh, pizza roll. Oh, um, I found something new in Morrison's, the supermarket. Um, like crispy, curly McCain fries things where they're thin and, and you cook them in the oven and they're for like catching, like, you know, your Doritos dips, your tubs of salsa. You get these like hot chips, and you and you dig them into the into the salsa, and whoa, they look amazing. I'm thinking of doing a video of these brand new McCain's bendy shovel like crisp things, potato chip things, where you shovel up loads of salsa in them. Oh, they look really good. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, do you know, um, there's some, there, yeah, there's some strange comments coming through. Hot chips, great. Oh, hot. tell you, what do you think about that, Jenkins, Jenkins? Those McCain chips with hot, oh, they're amazing with some salsa. Right, 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 right. Um, I went to the bathroom and I realised I didn't finish what I was saying earlier about, um, I'll touch on it very quickly again. And that is, um, Hello, Nomad. Nomad from Poland. Hello, Nomad. It, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was um, the the whole thing about if somebody come on asking me about beer, I'll tell them about beer. Um, if somebody asked me about religion, I wouldn't reply about religion. But my 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 my. my what I'm trying to say here is, or if I can finish that part of the conversation, is I will preach to somebody who's not interested in alcohol. I will not do that. I will never, ever preach to somebody who's not interested in alcohol. It's not my place to do that. So please, if you're interested in religion and politics and stuff like that, um, don't don't preach to me about it. Simple, simple, isn't it? Eh? Simple. That was it. Tell me about your Welshers. That goes back earlier on. Yeah, the Welshers hold the world. Welshers. I don't really see myself as Welsh. That's the that's the perfect perfect truth of it. I don't see myself as English. I don't see myself as Scottish. I don't see myself as Irish. I certainly don't see myself as Welsh. And I don't mean offence to anybody in the UK, but I see myself as a person. I go to I go to Germany, Sweden, Poland, Norway, Belgium, France, Spain. I go to all of these wonderful countries, and I see wonderful like-minded people and that's the point i see myself as a person who's who's interested in like-minded stuff with the people who's who's interested in what i'm interested in and i don't i don't like to segregate myself into a little kind of raving lunatic box i don't like to do that i don't i don't I don't like to segregate myself. I don't like to call myself a Welshman. Ah, uh, no, that's very different. My wife just said, what rugby team do I support? Yeah, I, I support, support Wales. And I support Cardiff City. And... My wife's saying I support Welsh people. <laughs> but the point is, my general interests are beer. My, my biggest interest in life is beer. So I, I really like traveling around, speaking to other people in the world who like beer. So 
in a strange way, I don't see myself as as a Welshman or you know that. I don't. Why? Why would you want to put yourself in a box like that? Anyway, uh, am I? No, no, certainly not. Um, wouldn't wouldn't be a problem if I was, would it? Um, that was Dave Clark. Put that comment. Um, big fish, little fish, carbonated sea. Uh, are you drinking wine? No. Uh, Simon, have you tried Slovakian food? Um, I'm from Poland. Uh, in your opinion, the best beer you've drunk on the Wrocław Beer Festival was Orangina. Orangina by Sest. Oran or Orangina, something like that. Orangina. It was a beautiful, beautiful. It, it stood out for me as the best beer. It was terrific. Uh, people in the world uh, in a box. Exactly that. Exactly that. Exactly that. Um, uh, your legs support you. Yeah, they certainly do. Um, am I wrecked yet? Not quite. I like most vocation, but the breakfast club is. Oh, come on. Come on, YouTube. YouTube's like blocking bad language. It's silly. Let me allow. Simon, are you ignoring my comment? Uh, Eden Shaw. Eden Shaw. I've been to the bathroom. What is your comment? Say it again. What is your What is your comment? Please write it out again. I'm, I'm trying. I'm having a million, million comments a minute. I'm just trying to pick out, pick out what I can. I do apologise. Um. Ah, oh, there's movement again. Mooney, look what Mooney's up to. Look what Mooney's up to in the live stream. Blimey. Blimey. <laughs> right. Well, Cuddy, uh, why do so many beers these days just take, like, fermented fruit juice? Well, Cuddy. Your comments. There's a lot of the price of hops is going through the roof. It's going bananas through the roof. Some people are combating the price of hops um, by adding the fruitiness of the natural flavour of the hop. They just put in fruit juice in their beer, and that's my own personal thing when it comes to that. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a real massive, massive fan of it. I like the beer, it's drinkable, but if I want something a little bit cheaper. I buy a flagon of mixed fruit juice and then I pour a quarter of a bottle of vodka in it. And I get the same taste and I get the same effect. Will Curry, that's my that's my answer to your question. Solid answer, no worries. Okay, uh, 141 people watching, 200, 210 likes. <laughs> I had 210, 209, okay, 208, 208, okay, people, people unliking your likes, okay. Okay, people coming back, we got 140 people watching. 208 likes. If you could like this live stream, thank you very much. It'd be absolutely terrific. If you can get us over 210 likes, that'd be perfect. Thank you very much. Um, should you do homebrew? I don't. Do, I just don't have the time to do homebrewing. If I'm honest. Right, Nibbler. I'm going to rate Nibbler, then I'm going to move on. Nibbler, Norfolk Ruby, 4% ABV. I like that enough to, to give it a very solid 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 beer from Riedel Craft Beer. We have the 210 likes on our channel, on our live stream. Thank you also very much for liking this live stream. Brilliant, thank you. I'm just going to turn more lights on. I will be a sec.
Is that any better? Uh, we're lose, starting to lose the light. Jamie Jenkins, what's your favourite supermarket beer? Mine is Vocations Love and Hate. Jenkins, Jenkins, you can't go far wrong with that. It's a pretty, pretty solid brew. And, it, and do you know what the beauty of that beer is? It's always available. It's always on the shelf at Tesco. No problem getting it. Absolutely terrific stuff. Right. The last video. The last video? The last beer. The last beer. Pardon me. How drunk am I on a scale of one to ten? Five? Five? Last beer, Moongazer, Bouchard, Norfolk Brew, Craft Brew House, Bouchard, Norfolk Mild, 4.9% ABV. The last the 15th and final round. If I forget to do so, I want to say one more thing before this beer review kicks off. One is the channel sponsor, beersreviewed.co.uk. Many, many thanks for supporting this marathon live stream. It's been going for two hours and ten minutes. Um, thank you all so very much. The beers are turning them. I'm curious. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that in a moment. We'll get into that. Um, Kate from State Farm. Have a look at this comment. Um, I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm allowed to do that. There we go. And that was the next thing. Eden Shaw, two pounds. Um, when can you do more Brewdog Overwork Sours? Eden Shaw, um, I plan on doing some more of the Overwork stuff, most definitely. I, I really do. I want to get into them. I've had the one so far from Tesco's. Um, Absolutely amazing, really enjoyed it. I thought it was the brew dog of old back again, doing some crazy stuff. Really liked it. Um, yeah, perfect, absolutely perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, cake from, from stuff, and I still want it. Um, <laughs> what the hell is wrong with some of you? Uh, not finished, uh, all the beers. Start back on them. Have you got your own skip size bottle bank? Yeah, can I have? It's recycling day in the morning. Recycling day in the morning. Right, we've got 140 people watching, 210 likes. Thank you also very much for liking the videos. Um, right, I want to say, I, I just want to say something quickly before I get into this beer review, and, and that is. Yeah, yeah. Thank you to our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe.co.uk. Thank you very much to Norfolk Brewhouse for supplying the beers for this mammoth long live stream. I believe nine beers is the record. The world record for a live stream is to root nine beers in one session. So I believe now we've, we're about to break the, the, live, the record for the live stream. And the last thing I want to say. We just had a super chat there, the two pound. We've had some wonderful super chats tonight. We've had some wonderful people donating money to the live stream. Um, under the comment section, there's a little dollar sign that I can see here. Um, for the people who've hit that dollar sign, for the people who've, who've, who've left a little bit of money, I want to say a massive, massive thank you for supporting the channel as you have it is a very very difficult thing to do to produce two videos i've been producing two videos a day 
for the last four years. Two videos every single day for the last four years. For me, it's been one of the most challenging things I've ever had to do in my life. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it. Um, it makes it easier. It really does make it easier when, when I get kind of your support in that way. Um, thank you also very much for the comments coming through. Really appreciating that. Um, brilliant stuff. Thank you very much. And yeah, let's get on with this final video. Mild, roasted malts. Toasty, biscuity, nutty. Little bit of sweetness, little bit of bitterness on the back end. Eden Shaw, another two pounds. Thank you very much to, to Eden Shaw. Here's more money towards that nine pound overwork sour. I'll look. I'll look forward to picking up that overwork sour. Thank you so very much. Um, Let's dive into this beer. Roasted, toasted, drinkable, refreshing. It's coming in at 4.9% ABV. Very drinkable, tasty, fantastic stuff. Fantastic beer, really good stuff. A very drinkable beer. This stage is going to be hard now to pull flavors. Uh, this is my ninth beer of the evening. Something strange, it's like my YouTube channel's been hacked. We had 211 likes, it's dropped down to 194. Not sure what's happening there, really unsure as to why that, that would happen. It's slightly odd that 15 people would take away their likes. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, if we can bump it back up to 200, that'd be great. Um, really strange kind of thing thing to happen. I don't know. Um, you ever going to come to Aberdeen? Uh, we have a great craft beer scene with Brewdog Fierce next to each other. That would be great. I'd love to come there. I'd love to come there and see it. Um, so final thoughts on this whole live stream. Let's rate this mild at four point nine percent ABV. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's a stone the crows, 8 out of 10. It's getting dark here in Barry in South Wales. Uh, we're losing the light fast. We're, lo we're losing the light as much as we're losing our likes for some really strange reason. I don't know why. That is. Maybe I'm abandoning the comments or something. Uh, once you mention the Lord Almighty, 10% go to hell. Uh, nice king class there, Simon. Do you watch Love Island? Unfortunately not. No, I don't watch Love Island. ISIS did it. <laughs> Maybe uh, they needed their thumbs back. Yeah, quite strange. Quite strange thing to do. Um, never mind. Never mind. Maybe maybe it's time. We ended the live stream. Thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you all so much for the super chat. It's been a wonderful evening. Thanks for supporting us. Stone the Crows. Cheers.